What's up, fam? All right, a couple things to talk about today. First off, got some feedback from somebody on Twitter that, uh, as I put it out there, download the uh, Electronium Mobile Miner and uh, start earning. Get, your, get some coins. And they said, why would I want to mine a penny coin? And it was a legitimate question. And I responded, well, it's not about, it's not about the penny, <laughs> obviously. It's about the coin because it's not going to be a penny forever. Uh, you're massing coins right now so that as ETN gets to the point where we get past the manipulation that's going on with the price, uh, which is a short-term problem, it, it'll, it'll work itself out. Then once you get mass adoption, once you get the uh, instant payment API up and running, uh, more people are going to start using this. The price isn't going to skyrocket because ETN is still giving coins away. They're increasing the supply daily, uh, artificially, and that's going to keep the price from rising as fast as it would. Uh, all things, all, all of all other things remaining equal, because you have a something that will raise the price of a coin is demand, uh, whether it's perceived demand or actual demand, or uh, utility being able to be used uh, and to get the things you want. Those are things that will raise a coin's price. Snob appeal will also raise a coin's price. And uh, that leads me to the focus of what this video is going to be about. Uh, two topics. Uh, they are two acronyms in the uh, circles of cryptocurrency, FUD and FOMO. FUD is, stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And there's a lot of that right now, especially with the talks of regulation, talks of uh, uh, government entities stepping in and trying to trying to make it a little bit less simple, a little bit less easy for people with deep pockets to manipulate the market. Uh, because here's what I have observed happening. You've got whales in the background and they see the direction that some of these cryptocurrencies are going. Um, my focus is actually on ETN, so that'll be the subject matter here. You've got ETN whales that don't want to put their money in all at once. And in fact, they're manipulating the price down before they put their money in. So here's what they do. They buy $50,000, $100,000, $150,000 worth of ETN, which at the current price of less than a penny uh, as of uh, today is uh, a lot of coin. And then they actually take a loss on that. Uh, they put in sell orders for these coins at less than they bought it for. And naturally, people are going to gobble it up. They're like, oh, this this fool is selling their coins. They're, they're panicking. They're, the sky is falling. Oh, they're selling their coins. I'm going to buy them. Well, every time that happens, then then the perceived value of the coin is less and less and less and less. And eventually you get down from eight cents to six cents to four cents to two cents to one penny to now it's like nine zero zero nine eight five. It's like ninety eight point five percent of a penny. And then if it gets down to ninety seven or ninety six or ninety five or eighty five percent of a penny, that's when the whales are gonna say, All right, now I'm breaking out my wallet. And they're going to go in there for their, you know, a quarter of a billion dollars at uh, this lower price. So they, they, they bought a small amount and they did the reverse of a pump and dump. They bought a small amount and took a loss on it, setting up these sell walls of there's lots of small orders that are lower and lower and lower in price. And every time one of those is gobbled up by somebody who's hodling, it lets the market think that, oh, okay, the current price of ETN is now down again and down again and down again and down again. And once it gets down below a certain level, people start panicking. They think that they like chicken little, chicken little. 
Sky's falling. Oh my gosh, I, I, I got to get rid of this. It's it's tanking. And so they put their coins up on the market. And that's when the whales who have set all this up in advance say, all right, I gotcha. And they put in their half a billion dollars, a quarter billion dollars, whatever. And uh, they buy up all these monstrous amounts of coin with, again, a lot of small orders. And so what happened to start with $100,000 of coin that they lost, let's say, a quarter of their value. They then turn around and get half a billion dollars of coin at this deflated value. And then as the, uh, the momentum returns to normal and the instant pay is released and you've got mass adoption and the coin rises in price, guess who's in the catbird seat? The same whale that manipulated the price down in the first place. Because of the decentralization and the privacy of ETN, it's tough to prove that that even happened or that uh or who did it so meanwhile they're sitting fat on the on the pig's back with their uh billion coin which is the opposite of decentralization it actually centralizes the coin in a few hands but uh, so fear uncertainty and doubt those feed hand in hand with this manipulation because every time the price is manipulated down, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the FUD, goes up. Price goes down, FUD goes up. And then eventually it gets, uh, uh, there's the opposite. When it bottoms out and then there's this big buy-in and the price starts going up. So you're going to see this happening after July. Uh, July or August, you're going to see the price going up. It's not going to rocket to the moon or anything like that. So don't listen to anybody who's telling you that. By the way, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. All right. Don't sue me. Um, so when the price starts going up, it becomes kind of a greater fool theory of uh, almost an auction mentality where you don't want to miss out. And that's the second acronym, FOMO, fear of missing out you see this coin increasing in price and well, you think, I, well, I don't want to miss out on this. And even people who don't know jack about coin, don't know jack about cryptocurrency market, they don't want to miss out. So they hop in, they throw a bunch of money in the, in the market. And uh, some people win and some people lose. But the fear, so those two things, they're, they're both fear. The fear, uncertainty, and doubt on the uh, downward side, and then the fear of missing out when it's on the upswing. Those are the uh, the two problem children of a uh, almost purely capitalist market is fear. Greed is another one, but that's a subject of another of another video. I'll work on that one. So in the meantime, the API for the instant payment is still in development. I was mistaken in my last video about the uh, Apple uh, iPhone app uh, being uh, not a problem. You're still going to get your simulated mining app. No worries, because it's not an actual miner. It's not going to heat up your phone. It's not going to gobble up your your uh, uh, your comp cycles. Apple's actually laid the hammer down pretty hard, and they're like, nope, not even simulated mining. No, not gonna, we're not going to allow it. But ETN has abandoned the mining application uh, portion of their app that they're going to be releasing for iPhone. They've re, they're have re going to be, if they haven't already, resubmitting the application to the App Store without the miner involved. So you're still going to be able to buy and sell ETN with QR code on your phone. And you're going to be able to uh, transfer to online wallets on your phones, which is the kind of the point of all of this. But the mining and simulated mining, that's not going to happen. The team at ETN, they are working on solutions, whether it's going to be uh, registered users from Apple are going to get a small amount of ETN dripped from the cloud into their wallet um, instead of uh, benchmarking their phone and having it be a simulated miner. And, you know, that, that's, it's, it's, there are ways around this. Uh, you just have to tread lightly because 
Apple is they've got a big stick and they don't, they're not afraid to swing it. So um, I'll finish up with this. ETN on a long term doesn't need Apple. Sorry to say, this is a global phenomenon that's in the works. It's an emerging $3 trillion market. It's going to be focusing on the gig economy. It's going to be focusing on the unbanked. It's going to be focusing on the developing world. And the people who are in right now and going long, especially right now when the coin's under a penny, (laughs) get involved. Um, We are going to be profiting from that. Is there hypocrisy there? I would argue maybe a little bit, but I believe in the vision of ETN that central banks have allowed very few people to control almost everyone for a long time. And cryptocurrency, and more pointedly, mobile ubiquity of cryptocurrency, a cryptocurrency you can use with your mobile device without a bank. All, nearly instantly, and pretty soon, instantly, is going to be such an amazing game changer for the people who are unbanked, the people who don't want to bank, the people who are afraid of another financial crash, the people who have been defrauded, the people who have been nickel and dime to death on the fees of a checking account. And then in your modern American life, you need your deposits, you need your uh, uh, your automatic payments, you need all of these things that are tied to a checking account or a debit card or all of these things. And then a bank charges you a ton of fees just to have the doggone account. Uh, this is going to provide alternatives to that rat race. And especially in the, de- in the developing world where many rural areas overseas don't even have access to banking, but they might still have a mobile device. And ETN is going to allow them to do instant payment and accept payment for their services, their goods, in exchange for ETN, uh, this new developing currency. And I'm not sure who it was. It might have been Goldman Sachs, don't quote me on that, that released their um, information and their, their data that this is trending to be what appears to be a $3 trillion global market. Now, think about that for just a second. Uh, ETN is going to top out at 22 billion coin. If it's a $3 trillion market and ETN tops out at 22 billion coin, how much is each coin going to be worth? I'll let you do the math. We'll talk to you next time.